One year later, this sacred space where members legislate, children learn, visitors are welcomed, was defiled and damaged, we know that. As we reflect on that darkest day, we remember that the insurrection sought not only to attack the building, but to undermine democracy itself. When the violent assault was made on the Capitol, its purpose was to thwart Congress's constitutional duty to validate the electoral count and to ensure the peaceful transfer of power. But the assault did not deter us from our duty, I say again. In this capital, a symbol of democracy to the world, that evening, the Congress, because of the courage of all of you, rose to honor our oath and protect our democracy. Today, we accept responsibility as daunting and demanding as any that previous generations of leadership have faced. Since the January 6th inspiration, there have been continued assaults on our democracy undermining the sanctity of the vote and the integrity of our elections, which are the basis of our democracy. As I conclude, I want to acknowledge our fallen heroes of that day. U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, U.S. Capitol Police Officer Howard Li Livingood, Metropolitan Officer Jeffrey Smith, U.S. Capitol Police Officer Billy Evans of a later assault. Now I ask all members to rise for a moment of silence in their memory. Thank you.